Hi, I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're here to talk about Dell PowerEdge R630 and we're going to continue our series and in this video we're going to be focused on HDDs and solid state drives. Let's get rolling. Well, hey, thanks for stopping by today to learn a little bit more about the Dell PowerEdge R630. Do us a favor, if you find anything in this video useful, click that like and smash that subscribe. All right, so on um, this video, we're going to be covering uh, the drives and solid state drives. Uh, we're actually going to do a video after this regarding NVMe. Um, so if that's something that interests you, we'll cover that a little bit more after this video. Um, as far as on hard drives and solid state drives, uh, there's three different types that it will accept. You can get SAS, SATA, or SSDs. Um, with SAS, you can get speeds of 10 or 15K. With SATA, you get 7.2K. And with SSDs, you're going to get uh, 3 gigabit per second, 6 gigabit per second, or all the way up to 12 gigabit per second. So that's as far as the actual speeds for them. The max that you can get as far as the, uh, depending on the type, for a SAS is a 2.4 terabyte. For a SATA is a 2 terabyte. And for SSDs, it's a 7.68 terabyte. So obviously, there's a huge scalability advantage when it comes to the SSDs. And that's on a per drive basis. Uh, obviously, you can fill them up and get more than that uh, on the total overall capacity. Um, now that we know a little bit more about the, uh, the types of drives that you can use, I want to show you actually how to physically install them, uh, which is really, really easy since this is a hot swap machine. But before we do, I'm going to grab my ESD gloves and be right back. All right, so we're going to show you something uh, nice and simple and install the drives here. Wanted to point out a couple of different things before we got too far down the road. So I wanted to point out there's all the different slots. Also, I should note this is a 10 bay unit. Um, we're doing this one because um, with the 10 bay, if you are installing U.2s, which is, a, like I said, another way to say 2.5 inch, you can put those into the last four slots if you have an NVMe kit. Um, we're going to do a whole series or a whole uh, video on that coming up. Uh, but this one's just specifically to show you about the, you know, SAS and SATA drives, putting them in the front, okay? So uh, this is going to be labeled port 0, port 1, port 2, port 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That'll be your 10 different bays for your hard drives. Uh, these are hot swap. They're very, very simple to install. Uh, you'll just push the button, pop it open. Uh, I'm actually going to go down low to, the, uh, to 1 first and then go back up to 0. Slide it in. I mean, it's very, very a simple install. You can install it while the machine is on if that's one of your questions. It's uh, you know, overall a very simple install. Uh, one of the things I will note, these are uh, 600 gig 15K SAS drives. With the 15K SAS drives, with the 2.5 inch, I don't find it as, as big of a, a problem, but definitely a huge problem on the 3.5 inch. Um, you want to make sure that the drives will pass Dell Diagnostics, and we will show you in a few seconds here how to run Dell Diagnostics uh, to make sure all your drives are good. Um, but we've seen where if you were to test this drive, let's say you're uh, running a wiping uh, uh, utility where you're putting this into a storage array or somewhere else, and you run uh, your wiping program, it'll give it up, you know, certain drives a pass. And if you run it with C tools or HDD Sentinel, which are also really great hard drive, free hard drive tests, it might pass those as well. Problem is with those 15K, it's going so, so fast that the bearings will, uh, will wear out on the inside and they'll eventually fail. And so Dell will give you a predictive analysis with Dell Diagnostics that it's a really nice tool that you definitely want to use to make sure that your drives are all good. Okay, so that's uh, the, the install, like I said, really simple. So we'll go ahead and actually show you how to do both both uh, Dell Diag and HD Sentinel in case you want to see the uh, power on hours or the health score of your drives. All right, we're going to start by showing you how to uh, run Dell Diagnostics. Um, and technically, uh, with Dell Diagnostics, it's going to test more than just your hard drives. It's really going to test all the components in your system. But this would be how we would recommend testing the hard drives. And yes, it will take some time. So we will fast forward through chunks of this here. So uh, really, it's a very simple. You're going to um, basically on the boot up screen when you start uh, your R630, you're going to hit F10. And this is going to take you to your life cycle controller. When you get to the life cycle controller, you're going to select hardware diagnostics. When you select hardware diagnostics, it's going to take you to another screen here. You're going to select run hardware diagnostics. Fairly simple, right? After you select run hardware diagnostics, it's going to give you the option here. And it's going to tell you it's going to take several minutes. Sit, click yes to continue. And after you uh, click yes, it is going to take 
uh, a bit of time to do all this. Um, the nice thing too is uh, they will show you the progress as it goes. It'll show you everything from you know the fans and the memory and uh, the hard drives and a whole bunch of other stuff in here. Uh, but specifically on the, in this in this case, what we're going to be looking for is the hard drives. And so we're going to go ahead and uh, fast forward right here because it's going to take a little bit of time. All right, so you can see um, the you know the tests start automatically as soon as you, um, you click it. It's really an easy process as a whole. It's just gonna you know run and run and run it, and it's gonna take some time. Uh, in our case, it took us about 10 to 12 minutes for it to uh, to fully test everything here. Uh, once the test is complete, you're gonna get. Uh, a screen that's going to pop up. You know, in this case, it's telling us that there was failures. Check out the results. We click yes, continue testing. It's done. Click OK. You can go into the results, and in the results tab, it'll have all the different hardware. On the left side, it also will show you a green check versus a, a red X. Uh, you can see that all the hard drives passed, uh, all the other stuff, backplane, video card, you know, all the fans were a good processor, memory, etc. Everything's fine on a hardware level. And you can scroll to the top of that results area, and you will see all the, um, the details here on the uh, the individual drives and uh, which slots they're in so uh, relatively easy overall you know it, it will take some time to run it but it, you know realistically it's not you know that much time um, and making sure that your system is in good working order it's important so now we're going to show you how to do um, HDD Sentinel uh, which I get is not Dell but I feel like it's really good for uh, checking on um, power on hours uh, health scores and some of this kind of stuff for your drives so uh, we will continue with that next. All right, so now we've got Hard Disk Sentinel pulled up, and this is uh, relatively simple as well. You just need to make sure you, you know, download the program. What we actually do is we have a, um, a separate server hooked up to a bunch of storage arrays so that we can test in bulk, but you just basically need to make sure you have it hooked up. When you pop in drives, um, they're gonna auto-populate and you'll start seeing them pop up on the left. So we're starting off with two in there, but we're gonna go ahead and toss two more in as we go. And, and like I said, it's, it's relatively simple. You pop them in, they auto-populate up. Um, you'll see them on the left. You can click on them and you'll see you know, the health score. Uh, you'll see if it's running hot, if there's too much temperature on there. When you click on them, uh, you can see the power on time in the middle, how much estimated lifetime is left. Um, there's a lot of cool features here. It's a good way to just to make sure that you have a healthy drive because obviously if you're you know, running uh, somebody's data or your own data, you want to make sure that it's protected and not in a drive that uh, is going to fail in the near future. Um, so this is a, a nifty way uh, to test. And also if you're you know, just buying drives from people you don't know um, and you want to make sure you're working with a reputable vendor, this is a great way uh, to physically just test them. So um, you can see we just popped in the 500 gig on another 500 gig and they're popping up on the left and it's just you know, as simple as just a hot swap or plugging it in and then you can click on it and see um, you know how, how long it's been on so this one's been on for you know 2200 days 2600 days I mean those are you know a fair amount of, of years put into those drives so those aren't drives that we would personally uh, want to sell or recommend so even though they're still in good good health, um, they still have 100% health. Those aren't drives that we'd really want to use. Now, 500 days, that's really not that bad. It's you know less than two years, uh, and you'll have plenty of time left. So, but anyhow, uh, appreciate you stopping by to learn a little bit more about how to test your hard drives. Um, if you're looking for any hard drive upgrades, uh, do us a favor and email us at sales at cloudninjas.com. That's sales at cloudninjas.com. Or if you're just looking for a custom built R630, uh, we'd love to help you out. Um, so email us at sales.com. Thanks for stopping by. Take care, guys. Thank you.